Facial fillers are very, very popular today. And one of the reasons they're so popular is that they're considered a non-invasive treatment and that means very minimal or even no downtime. But still, most patients want to know what's it really going to be like after I have facial fillers such as hyaluronic acids as Juvederm or Restylane injected. Once you come into the office, we'll make a good analysis of your face and where you might benefit from having the fillers. There's different grades of fillers, from thinner ones to thicker ones, depending upon how superficially or how deep we're going to place them. And this is determined by whether we're trying to correct thin wrinkles or more moderate furrows or sometimes augmenting the volume loss in the face. Once we've done that, we prepare you by marking up the areas that we're going to inject and we make sure that we're all in agreement as to the areas of interest. Now sometimes we'll put on some cream called Numit. It's a topical anesthetic cream and this really does help to decrease the pain or discomfort. Other patients say, no, I don't need that. I'll just go with the injection because the injections do have some freezing, just like dental freezing, right in them. And so once they've been injected, it numbs the area up very quickly. However, there are some patients, and particularly for areas around the lips, we might give a dental injection, what we call a regional block, and by doing so, we get complete numbness that lasts for about an hour. So whatever is going to work best for you, we will do to try to minimize your pain. Most patients grade the pain with filler injections between 2 and 4 out of 10, so not too bad. Once we've done the injections, right away we will put on some cool compresses in the office and we'll encourage you to do that at home that night. We also put some pressure on as we do the injections to try to minimize the chances of any bruising. Sometimes we'll give you some Arnica Montana, a homeopathic medication to decrease bruising. And of course, we've asked you to stop any aspirins or any other medications which might encourage bruising a week or so before the actual procedure. Most patients have very minimal or no bruising and usually it can be easily covered, if there is some, with some foundation. Occasionally, not commonly, patients will have a little bit more bruising which may take a few days to settle down. The fillers usually last anything from 12 to 15 months on average but some of our newer fillers are lasting 18 months and we're even seeing 24 months and longer in certain fillers in certain patients. The bottom line, facial fillers are an office procedure. They last a long time, one to two years, and they're very, very effective. So if you're worried about volume loss in your face, furrows or wrinkles, then you should consider having facial fillers.